modern aquaculture dates back to the 1950s when it expanded in Southeast Asian countries. Commercial aquaculture was made possible due to the mastering of the reproduction cycle of various species and the formulations of feeds. Over the last couple of decades, better and better techniques for cage cultures has enabled the mass exploitation of various water resources such as lakes, reservoirs, raceways, lagoon and the open seas. The synergy between the traditional ways, research and a business mindset has been the key towards the evolution of cage culture systems presently utilized. In Mauritius, to decrease the pressure on the lagoon capture fisheries, the Fisherman Investment Trust, set up in 2006, enlisted the collaboration of FAO Smart Fish Program, funded by the EU, to set up small-scale aquaculture production units for redundant fishermen, fisher cooperatives and associations. It was the only recourse to redress the present over-exploitation situation in the lagoon while increasing the low income of the fishers community. It is sincerely hoped that this project will pave the way forward for small-scale aquaculture development in Mauritius and Rodrigues while providing the population with an increase in fish production and sales. As part of the Fisherman Investment Trust Capacity Building Programme, a hexagonal wooden cage was constructed and set up in the lagoon at Poste de Flac. Various items were purchased including the wooden beams and planks, polypropylene and polyamide ropes of various diameters. Empty plastic drums of 200 litres were used as floats. Some 26 people, including fishers and women entrepreneurs, potential investors in aquaculture and university students in their final year attended a training course on cage construction. An FAO consultant, Mr. Fabrizio Piccolotti, led the course with the contribution of all participants to construct the wooden cage. The wooden beams set out in an open space and the required spacing between beams were carefully measured and drilled using a 16mm wood drill bit. The bolts and nuts were secured. Galvanized iron plates were also used as an added security for consolidating the cage. The plastic drums used as floats were carefully tied and secured. The caps were sealed with silicon. The type of knots used is very important and participants were taught the right type of knots to be used. Each knot made was double checked by the consultant. The heavy cage was then carried to the jetty where the floats were tied. Finally, the cage was set at sea. Cement blocks weighing some 70 kilos were used as anchor. Eight cement blocks were used to anchor the cage in the previously identified position. This operation did require the assistance of divers who made sure that the cage was in the right position, as identified during a previous survey. Finally, the wooden cage was tied and secured. The cage net used was imported from Slovakia. It is important to note that small-scale aquaculture has contributed towards the improvement of the socio-economic conditions of fishing communities in many Southeast Asian countries. This type of culture system should be encouraged in line with the government vision of a blue economy. The Fisherman Investment Trust, in collaboration with the FAO Smart Fish Programme, has so far set four aquaculture cages for the small-scale sector and intends to continue along the same path in the near future while also encouraging commercial aquaculture.